Hello, Steele County. This is June Voss, an archivist for the Steele County Historical Society. My job is to research and record my findings in a computer database so people can find artifacts and use them to tell stories. We recently accepted a gift including a woman's hat. When Steele County was young, in the 1800s, hats were primarily made by milliners people who designed and crafted fine clothing such as women's hats. This was one of the few acceptable outside the home professions for women. Most frontier towns had millinery shops. In my research I discovered that this hat is called a cloche from the French word meaning bell. The style was invented in 1908 by milliner Caroline Ribot. As you can see, this fitted hat is bell-shaped. Women's hat styles change. Construction and availability evolve with each passing year, often shaped by social climate. The 1920s brought tremendous change for women. The 19th Constitutional Amendment brought women the right to vote. Thus, the Roaring Twenties began and women let their hair down, so to speak. The cloche style took off and became all the rage from about 1922 to 1933. It was worn low on the forehead, revealing the eyes slightly, a very alluring style. Many women saying the cloche hat had helped them feel more powerful and confident when they spoke. During the 1930 depression years, people did without luxury items. Rather than new store-bought items, they repaired and retrofitted existing clothing and hats. This, along with the expansion of mail-order catalogs, brought hard times for local producers and small millinery shops diminished. The famous cloche hat style faded away until its second vogue in the 1960s, and again versions of the cloche made a major resurgence in the 1980s. In 2007, the cloche hats were also featured in the collections of many designers, calling the cloche hat the hot accessory of the moment. Thank you for viewing this presentation from the Steele County Historical Society, where our mission is preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.